Hello everyone, it's been two years since our last channel update video and in classic Squatch Gaming fashion, it's time for a new one. And I promise this one's gonna be way happier than the last one. Um, first off, as you can see, my hair is uh, super long now. I started growing it out in 2021 uh, to donate it to, uh, you know, uh, wigs for kids is what it's called. So I did it for as like in remembrance of my son, but also, I don't know, I just kind of want to grow it out and see what it's like. Uh, I don't really do anything with it, so it, <laughs> it, I mean, it just doesn't look great all the time, right? So feel free to make fun of me or whatever in the comments. I know it's probably, it's probably, it's going to be pretty jarring for, for you guys to, to see what it's like, to, to see the long hair is what I'm saying. So next off, for those of you that were uh, around in 2021 and watched the channel update video or maybe watched it in the years uh, past, um... That was a pretty sad update, but I do have a new update for you that is really happy. That's right, my wife and I have had another child. It's the complete opposite experience of what it was like with Kieran. Baby's healthy, we're all happy, it's just, we're so grateful and humble and just, just so happy that we have the opportunity to, to be parents again, so. Um, I don't really know what else more to say besides, you know, we're just super happy and and uh, things like that. So um, what does this mean for the YouTube channel? As I mentioned in the last channel update video, I like to keep my private life private. So you guys are pretty much never going to hear about the baby at all. Uh, you can ask, I'll give some general updates, but, um, you know, I'd rather just keep her separate from the whole crazy internet stuff. So yeah. Next off, the thing I want to say is that I'm, this doesn't mean I'm going to quit YouTube or anything. Uh, I, like I said in the last one, I love doing this stuff. I love teaching people, uh, like telling people stories and stuff like that. And it's, you know, it's just awesome that people are willing to listen to a guy just talk about it. So uh, I will be continuing. However, since I work in the, U I, since I work on the YouTube videos in my free time, having a baby dramatically reduces the amount of free time I'm going to get. So you should expect that the amount of YouTube videos that are uploaded, which were already pretty sparse to begin with, let's be honest, uh, is going to go down, right? So instead of the, I don't know, six to eight a year, it's probably going to be like two or three a year for a while. I don't know how long, but um, that's one change you should expect to see. Next thing is the the quality may take a hit. I don't really know how else to say this, right? So basically with like less free time, I'm going to have less time to edit, less time to capture footage, less time to play the game, to get all the stuff and things like that. So I'm not saying that like the overall quality, of the, like I'm still going to tell the story as it is right in the video so that you can understand it and things like that. But like how I get certain things, for instance, like how I get certain shots or uh, unlock all the items, I may have to resort to, you know, playing on easy mode, may have to resort to using cheats or mods or something like that just to unlock everything to begin with, just so that I can have it and capture it and things like that. So um, some of that may bleed over into the recordings. Like you might see me playing on easy or using a mod or something like that in the, in the gameplay footage. Um, I don't, think that's a big deal like you don't really come to this youtube channel for like gameplay you come for like the story stuff right um but i just wanted to let you know that you may see stuff like that in the recordings and yeah i don't think it would be a problem like i said because you don't really come for the gameplay but somebody left a comment not too long ago that said something like they they saw i was playing on easy and they saw like I had a mode active that made it the game easier to get and I did it just for like one recording and they were like wow real low effort content here <laughs> which made me laugh but uh just let you know you may see stuff like that um I don't think it'll really affect the quality but I mean I guess you would let me know now like I said I'm not gonna give up I'm still gonna be trying to make videos it's just they may be more spread out than they've been right um, I do have a, a list of things I would like to get done for this year. I've got three major videos I'd like to get done for this year. Um, the first one, which I'm working on now, is a video of all the character 
stories from Darkest Dungeon, well, I guess character stories so far from Darkest Dungeon, that'll have all the hero shrines and the comics and things like that. So I'm working on that now. Hopefully it'll be done. I don't know when. When it gets done. Um, after that, Blasphemous 2 is coming out in August, so this month. I'm going to hopefully make a story video on that, so that'll be next, most likely. And later this year, there's a game called The Last Faith coming out. Uh, I'm hoping it's good, and I'm hoping its story is nice and robust and pretty interesting, because I'd like to make a video on that, and so that's something else we should expect. Uh, those are the three major videos I'd like to get done this year. Like I said, it just depends on my free time and things like that, so we'll see what happens. I do have some scripts done for some other games, but I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens with my free time if I'm able to make anything on them. Um, writing the scripts is really the hard part, so after that it should be pretty easy, but I don't know. We'll see. I, just, I don't know what my free time is. Uh, the scripts I have done are for the game's Iconoclasts, which has been requested a number of times over the years. It's also a super long video, though. It's probably over an hour long. There's a lot of dialogue in that game. The next one is Midnight Fight Express, which has been requested by a few people um, since it came out. The last one is for Haiku the Robot, which is like a fun little Metroidvania. It's, I thought I had a lot of fun with it. I definitely would recommend it. So, I mean, hopefully I can get to uh, make it a video on that and the rest of the games, but we'll see what happens. I've also been getting requests for other games. Um, Fear and Hunger is uh, one of them. Uh, I guess both of those games. I don't know if I'll have time to get to it or when that time will be. Um, but if you are interested in seeing a story video on Fear, of hu Fear and Hunger, I recommend you check out the YouTube channel um, Worm Girl or at Mutant Worm Girl. Um, she has two videos on Fear and Hunger uh, that seem really popular. It looks, it looks like a lot of people like them, so that'll probably scratch the itch you're looking for if um, you're looking for Fear and Hunger story videos. Another request I've been getting a lot is um, more videos on the Lisa series, because earlier this summer, Lisa the Definitive Edition was released, and it added new content, not only like campsite stuff, but new endings and stuff too. So that may be a priority. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens, right? I may get to it. I may not. But speaking of Lisa, the most common request I get for the Lisa series is a video on the stories of the fan games. So it's Lisa the Hopeful and Lisa the Pointless. Um, I currently don't have any plans to cover those games right now. May change in the future, but Worm Girl, who I just mentioned with the Fear and Hunger stuff, just released a video for the story of Lisa the Hopeful. So if you're really itching to see a story video on that, go check her out. I'm sure it's great. I haven't watched it myself, but yeah, I'm sure it's great. So that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, I just wanted to, to let you guys know what's changed in my life and how it's gonna be affecting the YouTube channel. So expect fewer uploads, um, hopefully the same quality. You may just see some like easy mode or mods or cheats or stuff active in the clips. Uh, I don't really think that affects anything, but you know, it'll be what it'll be. I'll still edit and talk and do everything the way I do now so that uh, the quality is still there. Um, and then those are just, you know, the projects that I have that I'm hoping to get by the end of the year, maybe into next year. We'll see. And best of all, my wife and I have a kid. It's great. We're so happy. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to, to answer them for you. And I guess, you know, I guess we'll see you later. Bye.